Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arcway, myself Arnab Kundu. Today we will discuss on loops in Python. Okay, basically loops means iteration. In Python, there are two types of loops. One is while loop, other is for loop. So go to the computer screen. A loop statement allows us to execute a statement or group of statements multiple times okay the loop iterates while the condition is true when condition becomes false the program control passes to the line immediately following the loop okay in python basically two types of loops are there first one is a while loop and second one is a for loop okay so go for an example of while loop okay so suppose we write i equal to 1 and then write while and then write i less equal 5 then put colon and then write print and within parentheses suppose write technical r co n okay and then provide a comma and then write i and close the parenthesis and press enter and then write i equal i plus one okay in while loop the first part is the initialization the second part is is the condition and the third part this is the statement and should remember one of the statement such that which makes the condition false okay and also remember always indent the line after the while or for statement in loop statements okay should use at least four spaces or one tap per indentation level so that's why we are provide here the indentation level okay so this indentation level should provide okay after the while statement okay so at first we save the file so go to the file and save it so i go the e drive and just go the python example and put a name example 13.py and press enter okay now go to the command prompt and just write python example 13.py and press enter so we get this output here technical arcoin 1 technical arcoin 2 and up to technical arcoin 5 okay so at first i equal to 1 and check 1 less equal to 5 and the condition is true that's why it print technical arcoin and the i value is 1 and then i is increment means i equal to i plus 1 last i is 1 so 1 plus 1 will be 2 the new i value is 2 check again 2 less equal 5 true again print technical arcoin 2 in that way up to 5 when 5 means i value is 5 so 5 less equal to 5 so print technical arcoin 5 and now the i value is 6 because i equal to i plus 1 so 5 plus 1 will be 6 now check 6 less equal to 5 so now the condition becomes false so it terminates from the while loop okay and should remember one of the statement within this while loop should such that which makes the condition false otherwise if we forget to provide such statement then the loop becomes infinite a loop becomes infinite if the condition never becomes false this result in a loop that never ends such a loop is called an infinite loop okay now the another part of while loop is that using else statement with while loops okay python supports having an else statement associated with a loop statement okay if the else statement is used with a while loop the else statement is executed when the condition becomes false okay so go for an example suppose write i equal to 0 and then write while i less equal 5 colon and then write print and write i comma within double quote is less than equal is less than equal 5 okay then put a double quote and close the parenthesis and then write i equal i plus 1 okay and now write the else block 
okay or else part and there just write print i comma within double quote write is not less than 5 and close this double quote and close this parenthesis and go to file and save the file and provide a name example 15.py okay and go to the command prompt and just write python example 15 dot py and press enter so what happened we we got this result so at first the i value is zero so is it true that's why it's print zero is less than equal five okay that's why it's print there after i is incremented i value is one zero plus one will be one so one less equal to five also true so one is less than equal five that's why it's print one is less than equal five and it goes means it iterates up to i value is 5 so i less equal to 5 when i value is 5 so 5 less equal to 5 it's true again so 5 is less than equal 5 so it's print 5 is less than equal 5 but when i value is 6 then the condition becomes false means 6 less equal 5 is false so so then it go the else part so then it print 6 is not less than 5 now the another example for nested while loop okay so at first write the python script i equal to 1 then write while and then write i less equal 4 and provide a colon and then write print and within double quote suppose write technical r co n okay and close this double quote comma and provide end equal double quote press a space bar and then double quote end and close this parenthesis okay and then write j equal one okay and then again provide another while and write j less equal three and put a colon and then write print and within parenthesis suppose write space and write channel okay and close this double quote and comma and then again end equal double quote space double quote close this parenthesis and enter now j equal j plus one okay i equal i plus one okay and then again write the another line print only okay what happened so when a loop is provided within another loop then it's known as nested loop so here the one while is used to another while so that's why this is a nested while loop program okay so at first we save the file so go to the save and give a name example 16.py and press enter and just go to the command prompt and write python example 16.py and press enter so we get what we get technical arcoin and it provide channel 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 why actually the outer loop rotates four times so that's why the four row is printing and every time it print technical arc coin with that and inner loop print three times in each row is concerned means in the first row technical and this loop is rotated three times that's why three times the channel is print okay after the print is there print we are using why for the new line is concerned now the another loop in python that is for loop the for loop statement in python has the ability to iterate over the item of any sequence such as a list or a string or a tuple etc okay and also for loop in python is somehow different from other languages like c c++ or java okay so go for an example of for loop Suppose write for and write i, then write in and provide a sequence. And here I take a sequence as a list. So write within double quote, suppose or no, and close this double quote, comma, provide an integer 10. And suppose provide and floating point 2.8 and close this square bracket and then provide colon and press enter. Okay. Then write print and write here i. Okay. 
So what happened? In for is concerned, so this is the part which is known as iterating variable. Okay, and this is the part is the sequence, and this is the statement for for is concerned and should indentation level should maintain after the for statement is concerned. Okay, so at first we save the file and provide a name suppose example 18.py and press enter and then go to the command prompt and write python example 18.py and press enter so we, we got the result whatever provided within the list so what happened now each time i find out the element from the list one after another so first the i find out the element or no then find out the element 10 and then the find out the element 2.8 means when no more item in sequence then the for loop terminates okay now take another example of for loop suppose write x equal and within square bracket suppose we write within double quote technical and then close this double quote and suppose write 12 and then write 45.78 and close this square bracket okay and then write for i in x and provide a colon okay and then write print and then just write i okay so at first we set the python script and provide a name example 19.py okay and just go to the command prompt and write python example 19.py okay same way we got the result from this list at first i value is technical then i value is 12 then i value will be 45.78 okay so now go for the another example suppose we take a string now suppose write y equal and within double quote suppose write technical arco n okay and now write for i in y provide a colon and then just write print and provide i here okay now save the file and just go to the command prompt and type python example 19.py okay so what happened each and every character is just pick up by this variable i so that's why it print t e c h n i c a l and space is there also because space is also a character then a r c o a n okay so in that way the for loop can pick up the value from the string also okay so go for an another example suppose we take now a tuple okay so suppose write for i in and within parenthesis because tuple should define within parenthesis so write suppose or no close this double quote then write 16 and then suppose write r co n okay and close this parenthesis and put a colon and suppose write print and then write i okay now save the file and just go to the command prompt and just write python example 19.py same way i first pick up the first element is ornop second element is 16 third element is arquin okay and also we take another example for loop is concerned suppose we take range also in so write for i in and we take a range function and suppose here provide 12 so we know if we provide 12 that means we start from 0 and go up to 11 okay so we we'll just write print and just provide within parentheses i so save the file and just go to the command prompt and just type python example 19.py and press enter so what happened we got the value from 0 to 11 because the range actually provide the value from 0 to 11 because the 12 is there and each and every value is picked by the variable i and it prints and when the sequence have no elements so the loop is terminates okay now go for another example of nested for loop okay so at first write for i in and provide a range function and provide 5 put a colon 
and the next line provide another for this is a nested so that's why the inner for is provided here so for j in and another range is there and write here i plus 1 okay and put a colon and then write print and within parentheses write within double quote asterisk and put a space and close this double quote comma and put a an end and give a space within the double quote okay actually what happened if we don't put this particular end equal double quote space double quote what happened the print function provide by default a new line so we don't provide this new line that's why we provide this end value as a space okay and then just provide a print statement and this print statement should be the for outer loop okay and just provide the parentheses open and close means is a new line actually okay so we save the file so go to the save option and just provide the name example 20 dot py and press enter and now go to the command prompt and just type python example 20 dot py and press enter so you got this result what happened the outer loop counts the row so there is a five means five row should be provided from zero to four so it's a one two three four five and the inner loop prints the each and every time the asterisk and the space so when i value is zero because the range starts from zero so i value is zero so the inner for rotates one time because j is zero and what happened for the first i zero plus one will be one so that means it rotated only one time okay that's why the first row print only one asterisk okay and when the inner loop is terminate so it's a new line so the new row is there and after i value is one so j will rotate from zero to one means two times so that's why two asterisk is there when the inner for terminates then it go to the outer for statement which is a new line and go to the third and in that way it go up to the fifth row and it prints this type of triangle okay now the another example of nested for loop suppose write here for i and write in and provide range and provide a value 5 again and put a colon and then inner for is there so for j and in and provide range and within parentheses write 5 minus i okay and after put a colon and then print suppose within double quote we are print asterisk and put a space close the double quote comma and put a end because we don't need this new line that's why we have space here provide the outer loop statement just print okay so when a for is provided within a another for this is known as a nested means this is the inner for loop and this is the outer for loop okay so we save the file so suppose write example 21.py and go to the command prompt and suppose write python example 21.py and press enter so we got the another triangle in that format okay means here the i value is 0 so j start from 0 also because 5 minus 0 will be 5 so that means it's go up to 5 times so that's why the first row contain 5 asterisk when i value is 1 that means 5 minus 1 will be 4 that means inner 4 will rotate 4 times okay that means this is a 4 asterisk is there okay in that way when i value is 4 because the range 5 means is go up to 4 so when i value is 4 so it will rotate only one time because 5 minus 4 will be 1 so range 1 means only the one value is 0 so when j is 0 so it's rotated only one time that's why the last row prints only one asterisk okay and every time when the inner four terminates the new line is provided by the outer loop okay now take another part of for loop is that means using l statement with for loops in python it supports having an l statement associated with a for loop okay if the else statement is used with a for loop the else statement is executed only if for loops terminates normally okay 
So go for an example. Suppose write numbers and then take a list. Suppose the value will be 11, 22, 33, 44, then 65, 78, and then 10, and then provide 47. Okay. And then write for and then write i in numbers. Okay. And provide a colon. And then we check a condition if i modulo operator 2 equal equal 0 and provide a colon and then just print that the list contains even numbers okay and close it the parenthesis and after provide a, another statement is a break okay else part okay and we write here print and just write the list does not contain even numbers okay now we just save the file and provide a name suppose example 22.py okay now go to the command prompt and just type python example 22.py okay now what happened the list contains the even number this is a 22 is a even number 44 is even even number so that's why it print the list contains even number so what happened actually at first i take each and every element one after another from starting from 11 and it every time check that 11 module operator 2 the remainder is 0 or not if the condition is true then it go to that particular statement and what happened here we use the another important statement is a break so it is used to terminate from the loop immediately without running any remaining code in the loop so if we get one even number so don't check the other because the even number is contained within this list this is just confirm so that's why we don't need go to check again and again if we get one even number so the statement is executed one time and break means we just terminate from the loop okay and suppose if we change the value suppose here we provide 21 means we don't provide any even number here so also provide here suppose 90 79 now save the python script and again run it example 22 dot py now it print the list does not contain even numbers means this particular condition of the if statement is not satisfied means this condition is every time false why because the list doesn't contain any even number so in that case what happened when the for loop is terminate normally then it go to the else part and print that the list does not contain even numbers that's why here we get the result the list does not contain even number okay i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you